Hey, this is Bruce with Stone Edge Services. Today we're going to go through our new Job Estimator Pro app. We're going to do the deck and balcony waterproofing side of the app, which we just added on there. And I'm going to do a tutorial, basically a step-by-step -step how the how the how it works and what you do. So the first thing you do is you have to download the app onto your phone, whether it be uh, from the Apple I Store or from the uh, uh, Google Play Store. Get it onto your phone, and then uh, when it comes up, you're going to see this little bug right there. See that right there? It says Job Estimator Pro, Stone Edge. Click on that. It's going to come up. And if you don't already have a password or anything, sign up. Now, remember, this is just on your phone. So this is not going into our databases or anything else. So the data that you put in there is just on your phone. So when it fills out the paperwork, if you're going to do bids and things like that, it's all going to be right there on the phone for you. But like I said, all that information stays there, does not download anywhere else. So your information is safe and secure right where it is. So we're going to go ahead and set up a, uh, uh, an account. So my name is Bruce. Okay, so once you get your account set up, then all you have to do to log in is put in your log information. Sign in, and then you're into the account. Okay, so now you're in the app. Let's go through and uh, let me show you a little bit here. So first off, you have some choices. You have uh, the deck waterproofing system. You have self-levelers you can do bids on. You can do vertical applications for stamped concrete, carved concrete, so that's walls. You can do horizontal ap application uh, uh, bids, so that's uh, your, your patios, driveways, uh, walkways, floors, uh, doing stamped and decorative concrete on those. You also have other needs where you can go into there and uh, go through different things such as looking at uh, uh, saved job estimates that you've already done, asking questions, requesting catalogs, watching training videos, and I've just gone through those a minute ago. Okay, so let's do a deck and balcony uh, waterproofing uh, bid. So first off, you just select it, and then based on the type of deck and balcony um, bid that you're going to be doing, you're either going to do a standard system, a pro system, or a custom uh, uh, system. So um, in this case, you'll have to read all of our materials on uh, the different types of system, but we're just going to, at this point, check the uh, Pro Deck waterproofing system. We're going to do a bit on that. It's already set for U.S. measurements and U.S. Uh, dollars. Discount, don't have to worry about unless you know what your discount is. If not, it's just going to give you a price that's probably um, of the products a little bit higher than what you normally would pay. Um, which just tells you that uh, um, your price will be less than that when you actually go to place an order for product. Okay, so very simple program. Okay, the way this is set up, all you do is you put in the square footage of the um, deck and balcony waterproofing project that you're going to be doing. So, in this case, let's say it's a 10,000 square foot deck. So 10,000, done. You look right there, it automatically calculates all the information, all the bags, buckets, bottles, everything you're going to need to do that job is all laid out for you right there. Now, the reason there's a plus and a minus is because possibly you already have some stock of, of some items or you know that maybe you want to put an extra coat or something um, or if you're going to be ordering something, you know you've told them you're going to do a little bit thicker in one area. So you can always add product. See right there, I'm adding some right there or you can take product away if, let's say, if you already have it or something. So right now, 10,000, big numbers right there. All you have to do is, if you want to calculate labor, leave it uh, where it is, selected right there. If you, if you uh, don't want to calculate labor on this particular job and see if you already know what your profitability is, then you can turn that off. In this case, we're going to calculate labor. But uh, 10,000 is a big deck, so maybe you only want to do a, a, a 500 square foot deck. So 500, done. You can see how the numbers all change. There you go. So let's say we were only going to do a 100 square foot deck. There you go. Or a 2,000 square foot deck. Let's say it's 2,000 square feet. We're going to leave it at 2,000 for this particular uh, uh, demonstration. So right there it tells you all the uh, the seam tape, the the base coats, the fiberglass mat, the deck uh, resin, the the smooth coat, which is the slurry coat. The smooth coat is used again for the for the uh, texture coat, and then you have your uh, top 
coating, which is the uh, the deck seal, and then the deck seal color goes in there as well. We are going to do uh, labor because I want to see, make sure we're going to make money on this job. So uh, it starts and you, you just click, click on that, go to the next page. And right here, you have some different choices. So for example, is this gonna be a square foot bid? Did you did you bid this job saying you're gonna charge them so much per square foot? Or is it a really small job, in which case square footage isn't gonna help? So let's say it's a 50 square foot job and uh, um, at, at $6 a square foot, um, there's just not enough there to pay for everybody to do the job. So on small jobs, a lot of times you'll do a flat fee job or a flat fee, in which case you put that in there and it'll zero out the top one. This one here, we're doing a 2,000 square foot deck. So since I did that, it's already going to zero out the flat fee. And we're going to do the the um, the uh, 2,000 square foot deck at, let's say, $8 a square foot. Okay, whatever you charge, you just put in there. Number of workers you're going to need on this job. Well, I have a crew that we do uh, 2,000 square foot jobs with. And so I have a crew of three people. And then you have another selection here. It is per hour pay that you pay these people or are you paying them for the job so if it's a really small job you might say hey go do this job for me and you know i'll give you 200 bucks if that's the case you put in a dollar figure down there zeros out the top if not then you put the dollar figure in the uh, basically how much you pay them per hour or an average so in this case we're going to say let's say you're saying you're paying them 25 bucks an hour now you're talking about a number of eight hour uh, work days for this job. So in this case, uh, I have a crew, we're gonna do it. Uh, let's say it's gonna take us three, three days to do this particular job. So you put that in there. Um, if there's any other additional costs, so let's say that, um, um, let's say you have extra costs. Let's say it costs you more to drive out to this particular job. It's a long ways away. Um, you, you have uh, fuel costs and things like that. So if there's extra costs you want to account for, in this particular bid, you would add that in there. Or let's say the shipping cost to get the product to you, you wanna account for that, you don't wanna eat the shipping. So uh, between the gas and the, and the freight to get the product to you, let's say it's an extra 250 bucks, it could be whatever figure you're gonna put in there, but that's where you would put in an extra cost that you wanna account for in this bid to make sure that it's getting paid for. So done with that, you calculate, total on this is gonna be 2050, which is dollar two per square foot is just in labor and a little extra cost right there. Okay, so you go next on that. Now over here on this page, it's gonna show you, okay, so here's your bags, buckets, bottles, all that, and here's how much it's actually costing you per all those bags, buckets, and bottles. So the total is gonna be 5,276.41 for material, but labor is also 2050, so you have both sitting there, okay? So your total is 73.26.41, Price to the customer is 16000 because you're doing $8 per square foot at 2,000 square feet. Your total uh, uh, gross profit is going to be $8,600. So you're at 54% uh, plus gross margin. But let's say that you had promised this person you were uh, going to do this deck at $4 a square foot. <clears throat> okay, so you come back, change it four just to see what it's going to do. Recalculate it. Next. Let's drop down and take a look. Now you're only at 8% profit. You're only going to make $673, but what if there's any issues or anything else? Is that enough? Is that what you're trying to do? Or is $4 just not enough to do this particular deck? If that's the case, then you're going to have to renegotiate with the customer, get back up here, get to a price that you're comfortable with, and they'll be comfortable with, let's say, at $6 a square foot. Let's see where that comes in. Okay, so that's going to come in at $12,000, so you're making $4,000 on it, so, um, and you're at a 38% uh, profit margin on that, or gross margin, I should say. So, again, if this is designed to help you uh, make sure that you're not underbidding a job based on the costs and uh, most of the costs that are covered in here. So, if you are, I'd keep adjusting it and then go back and renegotiate before you start the job. Um, just because you said $4, $4 per square foot, that's not going to work. Everybody has to know that. And, you, and uh, basically, um, you can't do it for that amount of money. You're going to have to walk away from that particular job. Okay, so let's say we're going to, this is for uh, the Jack Jones job. Jack Jones. And it's on uh, Baker Street. Baker Street, too, because we've done two bids for Jack Jones, let's say. So uh, Backer Street, not Baker. Sorry about that. So it's on Backer Street. And uh, Jack Jones, okay, so we have all that information. Now there's different things we can do. So 
we can ask a technical question. Let's say you had a technical question. If you click on that, it'll uh, pull up an email. Um, you can save this job and archive it for later. So you want to go back and take a look at it later. Just archive it. You're done. Uh, if you want to view the estimate on what you can send to your customer. So it's Jack Jones job on uh, Backer Street 2. Okay. Estimates 12,000. You have information there. You can actually just type in right up here your, uh, uh, basically your, comp your company name. Make sure you put that in there correctly. So we'll say it's Stone Edge. Make sure your company information is in there, company phone number is in there. Um, no other information is in here. It doesn't tell them what your labor costs or the percentages, all that. This is all just a protective verbiage for you. If you want to send it to them saying, don't hold me to this, but 12,000 is our estimate. Okay. Or you can cancel out of that and get rid of it. Um, you can create a material list. So let's say uh, you do want to send yourself an email, um, send it to your own self. Um, basically, right here, it's the Jack Jones job, Backer Street. This tells you the products, the amount of products, and the costs of each one of those. So you can send this to yourself and just say, okay, this is my material list. This is what it's going to cost me to do this job, just something for reference. Um, you can also place an order for this. So let's say you want to send us the order. Say, yeah, this is. A, I want to buy all this stuff. So uh, you'd send us an email. We won't place this order until we actually talk to you or the distributor that you're buying through. So your distributor will then talk to you and, and uh, go through all this with you, make sure that your pricing is represented here, not the, the higher price that we typically have in the app. And then, uh, then you get a real quote for what it's going to cost you versus what the app says because the app, like I said, is usually a little bit higher. Um, but uh, basically, this uh, is able, you can send it to yourself, you can send it to your distributor, you can send it to us if you don't have a distributor, that type of thing, it will help you out. Um, or you can also go and, and uh, check on uh, other needs. So if you click on other needs, that saved job that you did, you can click on that, it's already clicked, you can go there. Jack Jones Street 2, you already have a Jack Jones in there and a Frank Smith job. So this one is all the information we just had on that same bid. Okay, see that? And then uh, again, you can place a product order if you want, and it goes through and it tells you all the information, all the different products you need and the costs, um, your costs for all these things. Or you can just send it to yourself, just basically so you have a reference of it again. Reference of it again. So back to there. You can also um, ask a question. So what this will do is it just, uh, it sends us, it automatically fills in our email address and ask a question from the app. Type in your question. Um, your, it'll come from your email address. So we'll be able to contact you and, and uh, see if we can help you with anything that you need. Get rid of that. The uh, ask a question call. So you click on that, automatically brings up. You can actually just press on that. It'll start dialing us, and uh, you can talk to our receptionist, and she'll get you to where you need to go. Um, oops, went to other needs. Uh, ask a question, request a, request a catalog. You can request a catalog for yourself or for customer. It's a digital catalog. So if we, we receive this, then um, just an email comes in. It says requesting a catalog. We'll just send back a digital uh, catalog to whoever uh, is requesting it. So if you, if you want to go to a customer, just put their email address in there, and we'll send it out for you. You can watch training videos. This will take you straight to our... YouTube channel where we have lots of training videos up there from deck and balcony to uh, wall mixes, stamp mixes, uh, CPR, concrete patch and repair, inside and outside corners, how to carve concrete, how to repair concrete. Everything's up there. Lots of videos. And uh, you can always take a look at those. There's 30 of them up there. Um, if you want to go to our website, say you're with a customer and you want to actually see pictures of jobs, you can actually go to our website and uh, click on and go to the balcony, go to, to the uh, gallery. So there's the gallery will pop up. So you can do that. You can also, I'm going to get back out of that. Um, just regular the website itself. You can, there's lots of different places you can go on the website, uh, look at all the other products, things of that nature. You can take the factory tour, which is a video, and or you can check out our other sister company. Lots of different places you can go with the app. Um, like I said, you can go to the website and everything else. Lots of information is in there for you. You can uh, go back into your bid that you were just working on. You can go back and change numbers if you want to. Send yourself some more information. Archive it. Wait for the next bid. Um, but bottom line, that is how you use our uh, Job Estimator Pro app. And... Uh, we'd love to uh, have you uh, try out our products, see what you think. 
And uh, thank you very much for uh, watching this video.